Yeah, in the Culture magazine, the Sunday Times, uh, this, this last Sunday, there's a review by Dominic Maxwell of uh, Stranger Things, The First Shadow. And now I come back to it, it doesn't actually mention social media very much apart from Netflix because it's a, a spin-off of from from Netflix so but it does welcome the fact that it's getting a new a new audience um, and he mentions a lot of other titles so Mamma Mia obviously and um, just for one day which is is coming up my neighbour Totoro, uh, black boys who have considered suicide when the hue gets too heavy. But what I would point out is that all of these shows have got a social media profile. So, uh, and a couple of couple of other press cuttings. Uh, let's. I'm hoping I can find find these directly. Uh, yeah, New Wave of People's Poets. This is The Observer, uh, 24th of December, um, which reports that last year was, was, was very good for, for poetry, but a lot of it um, came, from, came from social media. Um, Self-help poetry, unfortunately, it's been described as, and... Uh, Neil Astley from Blood Axe Books uh, is not, not so keen on it. Um, the literary value of many of these Insta poets is zero, he says. But I, I think um, it's, gonna, it's, go, it's probably going to go on like that. Um, what, whatever people at bet work out about what to do about technology and social media and so forth um, the poet the poetry that that uh, people are buying especially people who, who are connected with social media at, at this time um, is probably going to ca carry on in, in the way that that started last year I would think so the the, the, the thing would be to, to get um, Get heads around what to what to do about it, and find find ways of relating preferred literature to to that, and also schools that are hybrid in some manner. Um, but what what that is, I'm not I'm not at all not at all sure. Anyway, I'll go go back to the uh, Drifters Girl soundtrack. Mm. Mm. 